this is a quick O B G Y N and today I'm gonna talk about progesterone challenge test okay guys this is for USMLA and for medical students so guys progesterone challenge test to understand this I would like to brief you that's what's the secondary amnuria and what's the primary amnuria remember the amnuria is nothing but absence of menstrual bleeding right amnuria is absence of bleeding no <laughs> menstrual bleeding okay so what's a primary amnuria primary amnuria is nothing but there has never been any bleeding in her life means she never started with a any kind of menstrual bleeding she has never noticed she never had any menstrual bleeding is known as a primary the secondary amnuria is nothing but she had what you call previously menstrual bleeding that had occurred <coughs> sorry means <coughs> Sorry for that. Okay. Now, previously, she was menstruating, but now, after a few years or after a few months, the menstruation has stopped. So, now tell me, what's the most common cause for the secondary amnuria? It's pregnancy. So, what you have to do? The first test. Whenever she comes with the secondary amnuria, no need to play with the patient. Just measure the levels of beta HCG. That's it. What do you do? Beta HCG. If beta HCG is negative, is negative means pregnancy is ruled out, means she is not pregnant, right? <coughs> then what you have to do is, the next step would be, you should rule out hypothyroidism. You should rule out hypothyroidism. Okay, so to rule rule out hypothyroidism, if beta HCG is negative, pregnancy is ruled out. So what you have to measure is measure the T S H levels. Okay. Remember, if there is a, a what you call if T R H that is a thyrotropin releasing hormone T R H in a primary hypothyroidism can lead to an elevated prolactin very important it can lead to elevated prolactin so if hypothyroidism is found then we will treat with the right thyroid replacement so let's talk about the progesterone challenge test pct if beta hcg in a secondary amnuria if beta hcg is negative okay what we do we measure the TSH and the prolactin levels. TSH and prolactin levels. If TSH and the prolactin, sorry, prolactin are normal, are normal, what do you do? Is what we do is progesterone challenge test. Administer either single IM dose of progesterone. Okay, or seven days seven days of oral medroxy progesterone acetate. Secondary amnuria first step is confirm whether she's a pregnant or not, beta HCG. If beta HCG is negative, then measure the TSH and the prolactin. If they are normal, then give administer um, intramuscular progesterone or um, oral uh, NPA that's a um, 
progesterone acetate mpa right so now two things can happen okay two things can happen it can be a positive pct or it can be negative pct okay what's a positive pct any degree of withdrawal bleeding is diagnostic of an ovulation if she has a withdrawal bleeding okay She has a withdrawal bleeding, then it's a diagnostic of an ovulation. What's an ovulation? No oocyte is released. An ovulation. And a chronic an ovulation leads to infertility, remember. Okay. So the cyclic MPA, that's a madroxyprogesterone, is required to prevent endometrial hyperplasia. So clomiphene ovulation induction will be required if pregnancy is desired. If you want to be pregnant, clomiphene. Clomiphene ovulation induction will be required. Okay, so now you got what's a positive PCT is any degree of withdrawal bleeding is Nothing, but is a withdrawal bleeding is there the patient has a withdrawal bleeding then think that's um, That is a diagnostic of an ovulation. She's an ovulating. Okay What's a negative PCT is absence of withdrawal bleeding no withdrawal bleeding No withdrawal bleeding WB okay, no withdrawal bleeding and is caused by either two things Either the estrogen was inadequate estrogen, inadequate estrogen because of because estrogen is required for the priming of the endometrium, right? Or it can be outflow obstruction. It can be outflow obstruction. Okay, so two possibilities can be there. Either it can be a positive, uh, it can be a decrease a low estrogen or inadequate estrogen because estrogen is required for the priming of the endometrium, okay? And uh, either either or outflow obstruction is there, okay? So this is about the positive uh, progesterone challenge test, guys. So in the next video, I'm going to explain you what's the estrogen progesterone challenge test. Okay, guys? So thank you much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.